Hey everybody, thank you for having me. Welcome to my presentation on pitching the Jamstack. My name is Nick De Jesus. A little bit about me, I'm a developer experience engineer at Prismic. I maintain a library called Use Shopping Cart and I'm also a competitive gamer. I play a fighting game, competed all over the world and stuff like that. Fun fact about me, um, what this talk is about. So, you know, you might be a freelancer, you might be interested in freelancing, you might be thinking about running an agency or something. This talk is about how to show the value of the Jamstack to your clients through design systems and Prismic. And so the talking points for this will be um, going over the benefits of the Jamstack, leveraging design systems, how Prismic can help with all of the above. And then at the very end, we're gonna give you a special pitch template that would help you with uh, engaging future clients. So high quality websites, what are they? Uh, and actually, if you like Google literally these words, you're gonna get like hundreds of results. So this is a very uh, high level um, list here, but I would be interested in seeing in the chat uh, because future me is in the live chat right now. Uh, I would love to know what y'all think makes a high quality website. So for now, what we have is um, that high quality websites are accessible, they're performant and they're secure. Uh, and what your clients need to understand is that higher quality websites equals more conversions for their business and more conversions equals more growth. And as you grow, you can enable your client to leverage your website in more powerful ways. And today, right now, like you can build a high quality website, like that's, that's not impossible with, um, you know, the traditional solutions. It just requires a ton of work. So what makes the Jamstack better at building high quality websites? Well, right out of the box, this is what you get. You get high performance. Jamstack sites don't require generating page views on a server request. All the pages are pre-built. You do not need a complex infrastructure for performance. This is really important for your clients because let's say they're running on an e-commerce store or something, uh, generally the drop off rate is really high if your website takes m too long to load. And when I say too long, that's like more than a second. Um, we have really bad attention spans, us humans. And then also something that I don't think a lot of people think about is that uh, people in areas with poor connections or, e or um, not so powerful or who don't who don't have um, powerful devices, they won't be able to render your site if it's not performant. Some people just won't be able to, to use it, right? Um, so you want to think about those. Um, it's low maintenance. Jamstack is low maintenance. You're serving from a CDN. It doesn't require a team of experts to keep the lights on. Um, the likelihood of any downtime with the Jamstack is very small as your site is very available due to the way uh, Jamstack sites normally get hosted. Uh, it's secure by default. Static sites don't require a constant connection to a server, giving hackers less surface area. You, your clients and their users should feel protected. You don't have to worry about people like uh, this guy in the GIF. They're easy to scale. It doesn't matter if you have hundreds or thousands of blog posts, marketing pages, or products, you can continue to grow without additional complexity. Now with traditional services, um, you know, or platforms, you might need extra work to handle the growth or you'll have to pay for like more plugins or, or extra packages or something. It could get really expensive in the long run. Jamstack, uh, you don't have to worry about that as much. Uh, and Jamstack works for any type of website. Doesn't matter if you ha have a marketing site or an e-commerce site, some kind of SaaS, um, Jamstack will work for your clients. I'm so sorry, I could not think of like a good gift to go here. I I've been trying for a long time and I just gave up. So sorry about that. Uh, and Jamstack websites work with any platform. You aren't restricted by a single technology. 
uh, you don't get locked into an ecosystem. So for us developers, that's really exciting. You know, we get to choose whatever uh, front end framework we want. We can choose whatever back end we want. We can pull in some other favorite services or tools that we like. For your clients, they get that benefit as well. Uh, like depending on your client, let's say maybe they want to have some kind of integration with Airtable or something. You know, that's all very possible. And Jam Jamstack impacts the entire team. Developers get awesome tools that make them efficient out of the box while also being able to use their other favorite tools if they wanted to pull anything in as as i was saying in my last point and marketers can contribute to the website without needing to learn developer tooling or processes so just to quickly recap on um what i was what i just went through because i just threw a bunch of stuff at y'all um high performance Jamstack is, offers high performance, low maintenance, it's secure by default, it's easy to scale, it works for any type of site, it works with any platform, and Jamstack impacts the entire team. So let's start talking about design systems and how you could leverage them in your pitches. But first, just in case, let's go over the definition of a design system. A design system is a complete set of standards intended to manage design at scale using reusable components and patterns. So this is something that your clients should understand that a design system is a big part of why you'll be able to deliver a high quality site. And by telling your clients that you have a design system, you can also promise them faster delivery. And you'll be able to do that because you have um, you're not really starting your, your work from scratch. You, with a design system, you're more or less plugging in and, and swapping out styles and logic. Uh, we have this agency at Prismic um, that's a power user, Somos Gente, and they, because of their design system is so solid, they're able to promise most of their clients that they can deliver their website in two weeks. That is very enticing. Um, um, for a lot of their clients. And so like by by adding Prismic and the concept of slices to your design system, you can strengthen th that pitch even more. Prismic is a CMS for websites and apps focused on developer and content creator productivity. And just to go over what a slice is, a slice is a section of your website. These sections can be as big as a page or they can be very small. And so if you think back to the definition of design systems, slices fit perfect with the idea of reusable components. The modularity of slices work extremely well with design systems. And so um, without getting too into the weeds of the technicalities of design systems, um, we're just gonna talk about how you can talk about slices to your clients. And so, um, so how slices help you sell to clients? Well, uh, slices give clients an easier way to understand what they'll get in their website and can help them communicate their needs to developers. So with slices, your clients get a really solid mental model of how your website works and what can be done. Uh, this is especially great for adapting to the business as it grows. Slices allow developers to deliver a custom website builder experience that works for them. So for, for their clients, what's better than getting uh being able to build web pages in a way that's tailored specifically for your needs i don't really have much more to say there clients would love the fact that they can focus on building on-brand pages independently while developers can work in the background focusing on optimizations and features and this is a win for everyone neither party has to interrupt each other's flows to get anything done. So the point is that we're trying to make is that crafting a great pitch for clients is all about helping them understand how your tools and stack result in amazing quality. And so just to follow up, we made you 
a pitch deck. Um, this is going to help you. So if you go to the URL prismic.club forward slash pitch jam stack, we have a nice little um, um, pitch deck for y'all that would help you uh, make your pitches to your clients. So again, thank you for having me here at this talk. I'm assuming that we're going to be opening up for questions or something like that. There we go. Love the video, Nick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, that was great, Nick. Thank you. Um, I, I found I thought that was interesting the uh, the kind of nomenclature of slices. So that's been a thing that you know Stephanie and I have talked a little bit about because um, you know you have components, right? And everybody knows components make up design systems. But then this idea, and maybe your your definition of slices is different than what we're thinking about, like the idea of these kind of um, layout independent kind of sections of sites that can be rearranged and used in kind of a site builder fashion without stepping on the toes of the the technical developer experience behind the scenes is that kind of the same slices that, yeah. that you guys are that's yeah it. yeah that's that's great and that that makes sense to me too like that name just makes sense for that kind of thing so that that's cool oh, to yeah. see other people using that yeah totally um yeah we've been i think slices have been a part of prismic since since the conception the original conception um and so yeah that's where we kind of focus all of our energy it's like there's the slices and then we have um you know not to get too deep into the weeds, but we have like slice machine um, mm -hmm. and it's a way to help you build slices uh, uh, locally and stuff like that. And so it's a really good way to sort of communicate with your clients because you're not talking to your clients about components and props and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely more visual for folks who are coming at it from a non-technical background. Um, now, yeah. what do you do in a case, Nick, where you know, people are like, okay, great. You say it's, it's fast. It's secure. It's all these things that, that I really believe the Jamstack is at my core, but I think every product out there pitches themselves as these things, you know, yeah. you'll have a, a traditional CMS being like, we're fast and we're also secure and we're all these things. So like, how, how do you get people to understand the difference between these things? Do you go to like, um, like a, like page speed tests, or do you actually like pull up two websites side by side? Or like, what do you, what do you do in that case? Yeah, there's a lot of different things. I mean, it does depend on who you're talking to because some clients, are, they just kind of want their website and they don't really, um, they don't really like care about what you're using. Uh, um, others are definitely much more savvy, right? It's like, why would I use this over that and, and, and whatever. Um, and so from talking with the agencies that we have, um, I mean, of course, there's like always nuance and stuff. Um, but I think being able to to sort of having the, I wish I spoke more about the design system in the video, because what was really interesting in the research we did was the way that design systems kind of seem like like every agency has a similar stack. It was like next prismic and then their design systems sort of felt like. Uh, like design systems by design systems, but it felt like they that is where things got unique for them. So like that one agency I was talking about, like they were able to literally say, you know, we can get you a website in two weeks. And I don't know how many other agencies can, can make a claim that bold. And most of their um, most of their clients were actually government. And so um, and so because because of that, well, and so this was like, you're leaning into the design system for these kinds of things. Uh, there was another agency where their design system, they had all kinds of really good stuff set up like, um, um, damn, what's the thing called where you, uh, where you can kind of, it's like so popular. Everyone can, you could see the components and edit them. Oh my God. So it's like storybook or something? storybook yeah there we go i'm so mad i didn't remember that but yeah they used um storybook and another tool like chromium or whatever and they were able to show their clients the the what the website could look like they were like here's the components here's like here's how we can change the components and make it fit your brand and whatever and so the argument here of course of course i have to shill prismic but like so prismic is because of like that modular slice um, um, approach to like 
it's very cohesive with design systems. And so that's why like we are asking, we ask, we, we like to see our agencies lean on the design systems because of that. Like this is what, what the whole slice concept was built for, you know? And so you can take it a step further. It's like, you can, sh you can use your design system however you need it in your unique way, but then you can also, um, it integrates really well with, uh, uh, prismic. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I mean, the the term design system is like somewhat controversial because everyone has a different idea of what that means. I think yeah. the way the way you all are approaching it is is the vision for for what I would think would be useful. So this idea of you have this kind of base system that you can then um, customize out to to make it like a, a very custom experience. And I think the results speak for themselves. The fact that you know this agency you guys are, are working with is is turning around sites in two weeks is pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, so that's very cool to see that, that. And that was unique to them, right? Like the other agency I was talking about, they are not pumping out websites in two weeks, but they were still able, able to leverage um, having a design system set up already um, to make it part of their pitches. Yeah. Very cool. Anyone? Do other folks have questions for Nick? No. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks again, Nick, and thanks, Ian, for, for coming on and talking with our group. Uh, it's super fun to see what people are working on and ideas people are thinking through. Um, it, it makes the community so much stronger when, when folks are willing to share their knowledge. So we really appreciate you coming on and, and talking with everybody. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. That was my second talk for y'all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. That's First nice. virtual one, but second talk in general. Maybe we'll do a sandwich someday and you can come back in person and we'll, we'll yeah, finish it yeah. out that way. <laughs> cool. Um, great. All right. Well, thanks everyone for hopping on. It was nice to see, see folks. Um, appreciate everyone coming out. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll do another one of these uh, next month and have some more speakers for you. So uh, stay tuned to our meetup for more content. Take care, everyone.